Hi, I'm Don Jones, and where are my applications? In this micro nugget, I'm gonna show you how to find all of the things you actually want your computer for. Your, your applications, even though they might be a little hidden, in the new user interface in Windows 8. This is an especially important set of tips for your poor users who, no matter what we think about their, their desktops, I mean, we even call it desktops, they don't really care about their desktop, they care about their applications. And here they are sitting in front of their brand new Windows 8 computer and there's no start menu, so they can't find any of their applications. And maybe they've figured out that they can come down here and where is the little magic pixel and they can get to the start screen. And there's, well, there's none of their applications. It's, it's games and maps. And if their screen is just the right size and they know to scroll over, they'll start to find some of their applications. But this certainly isn't everything that's installed on this computer. It can be really frustrating. I mean, even if their computer starts out here on the start screen, finding everything can be tough. Well, there's three easy tricks you can give them. First of all, some of your users know the application name that they want to run. Uh, they know the name of the executable. Now, these are going to be your power users. For those folks, just tell them to hold down the Windows key on their keyboard and press R. Boom. They get the run, and they can run whatever they want to. I like to run PowerShell. So it's a quick, easy way. Now, it does require a little bit more typing, and you, you do have to know the name. So that's a, a power user thing for sure. Now, if you're still back on the start screen, another cool trick is to just start typing. For example, if I, if I wanted to get to PowerShell, I'd just put my cursor anywhere I want to and start typing. P-O. And it automatically goes into app search mode, and it'll find every application that contains the characters I've typed. You can see over here on the right-hand side, it's letting me type. That's where I'm actually typing. And over here on the big left side, it's everything that matched. So, you know, I'm even getting Windows Easy Transfer Reports because that's got PO in it. And as I narrow this down by typing more, and you can see also, I've got different sets of results here. It's found 88 files that match that, seven settings, and two apps. So I can click between these, and it'll take me to everything that matched that. So this is a quick way to find your documents and files as well. You can click through to get just to document types and hopefully very quickly get what you needed. Now, I'm just going to hit the Windows key to back out to the start screen again because the other way, and this is the way that I think a lot of users are going to find more familiar. Look, here's what's really going to happen. Your users are going to litter their perfectly clean, pristine desktop with a zillion icons because they want to find their applications. Now, we took away their start menu, and so all that leaves them with is the desktop, right? Well, before you can, can let them start cluttering up their desktop even more than it probably already is, see if you can convince them to do this. Hit the Start button, or the Windows button, to get to the Start screen. On that Start screen, right-click, and you see you get this neat little All Apps button all the way down in the bottom right. Click that, and this is probably what they're really looking for. You've got all of your common applications over here, right? You can unpin something by right-clicking it, so I can get it out of this fixed area. So I'm going to unpin video and let it go off to wherever it goes to. I can repin it if I want to, and I can uninstall things right from here. Now, there's no way that could possibly be dangerous, right? So, and if you scroll over a bit, this is kind of the categorized folder-based view that we're used to seeing in the Start menu, right? You've got your Windows Accessories section. You've got folders for all the different vendor stuff that got created. So let's say this is something that I want to run a lot. I can right click it. Um, I've got this pinned to the start menu already, but I could also pin it to my taskbar. And then when I'm out of the start screen, it appears in my taskbar. So that's right click anywhere on the start screen, hit all apps, and then you get sort of the more familiar start menu style layout. And this is probably going to make a lot of your users really happy. So you know, spend a little time, send out some emails to the folks who are using Windows 8, let them know that trick exists, and they don't need to drag everything out to the desktop. There is a much easier and actually pretty attractive way of finding all of their applications. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.